Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. So today's video I'm doing a lovely little collaboration with Madam Glam and they've also uh, kindly given me a nice discount code for you all to get 30% off which is amazing and I'll be leaving that um, in the description box below for you. I'll also put it on at the end of the video. So the in, in the box they've sent me this um, cute little lamp um, they're really handy these, you know, especially if you're doing the uh, the full cover tips and you can just turn them on the side, hold your tip on. Yeah, it's it's easier than, you know, putting it into the lamp. So I'm just showing you there and it just stands on those little legs. So yeah, nice and neat. I've got a couple of these. I have used them before. Yeah, I always find it a struggle there. Um, trying to put those on and wiggling your hand into the lamp so yeah hopefully that will make life easier um they've sent me a little leaflet there and they um support you know the breast cancer awareness so check the website out for that and they've also sent me one of the lovely little pink ribbons as well as oh that was a bit quick that one so we've got a base coat the other one was a top and we've got no angel we've got um, master debater <laughs> um, I think this is Shagadelic, so yeah, cute names. <laughs> and the last one is Coffee Time. So I'm all go also going to be swatching these colours for you today. So we'll just have a little look first and look how rich that Coffee Time is. Sorry, it's a bit out of focus there. I think because it was so shiny, um, you know, glossy looking. This is No Angel, which is... Yeah, absolutely perfect. That'll go with anything. And the No Angel, that's part of the Rock, Paper, Scissors collection. And I think the Coffee Time is just one of the, uh, you know, the staples. I couldn't actually find where it come from. And the Master Debater is more like a jelly, as you can see. And so is the Shagadelic, yeah. So you can get a nice cover if you put a few coats on. So they're those up to now. And those two, they come from the Yeah Baby, which was inspired by Austin Powers, I believe. So they've got lots of colours in that range as well. And sorry about the little roar on that little, <laughs> little bit of the voiceover. It was the little pooch in the background. He hates anyone walking past. He's only a little Pomeranian, but he thinks he's um, a Rottweiler, I think. So anyway, that was the master debate. And so I'm going in with the Shagadelic. And I will give these another coat. I'm just uh, alternating them for you. So we'll get them on. And these cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I'm just going to apply the second coat to this. And at first, I was a bit unsure of this colour, but... It actually looks really nice. Um, it's got like a golden tinge to it. You can see it better there with the white under. It would be really good for, you know, the tortoise shell uh, nail art. So, and now we're going in with the second coat of this one. And again, absolutely lovely colour. I really like this one. Um, so, yeah, we'll pop that under. And now we're going to move on to coffee time. And this one, it's so rich and creamy. I probably really could have got away with one coat, but I want to show you, you know, with the two coats so you're getting the, you know, the full uh, effect of the colour. So just going in now with the second coat. um, And with all, like, your autumn sets, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And now we're moving on to No Angel. So this one, again, goes gorgeous with the other colours, but... Even as just a nude, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's dead versatile. This one, I really like this too. They're real good, just creamy consistency, these. Um, yeah, just look at that second coat going on. I've got a little bit too much on my brush there, but they, they are quite long tips. So just, yeah, uh, get rid of the excess product. And there they are all swatched. And yeah, although they're not from the same collection, I think they all really marry up nicely together. And now we'll get started on the design. So I've got my tips ready and oh, I was trying to, you know, decide what colour. But I've got these lovely decals. So I thought, right, yeah, let's go for a nice uh, vintage type set, which the No Angel will be absolutely perfect for. And I'm also going to use the um, the Shagadelic as well. Um, so 
yeah, a little bit of a vintage autumn vibe going on. So there you can see I've just applied the second, um, well, just about to apply the second coat. Um, and what once I've done this, we'll get that cured in the lamp and then I'm going to show you a little uh, technique of how to use the decals. So I'll be using Madame Glam's Perfect White. And I'm also going to need my jelly stamper. Now, because a lot of the decals, once you take that backing off, they are quite transparent really so i want them to stand out so i'm just popping them onto the, the stamper and now i'm just going to go around them with the perfect white um i've cut it as close to the you know the butterfly or whatever the design is as possible um and then you know you know you're not going to get any sort of overspill of the white you know coming off the design so I'll just I've not showed you me doing all of it. It's a bit uh, a bit boring, but you can uh, you you can get the uh, the look of what I'm doing there. And once I'm happy with it, I'll pop it into the lamp to cure. Now I'm using the Madden Glam the uh, Long Fine Liner brush, which um I've just got that new as well, and I'm really enjoying using that at the moment. So when it's cured, I cured it for about ten or fifteen seconds. Just place it where you want it, roll it off, and there you go. So, because it's got that white back, and you can see, you know, how nice the design pops out. And now I'm going to use the coffee time with my fine liner brush, also from Madame Glam. And I'm, ju I'm just going to outline the butterfly slightly. And I'll just, I'll just go in, once I've done the outline... I'll just go in and blend it because I don't want it to be, you know, a sharp line. I just want it to look, you know, a little bit more vintagey. So, yeah, I'll uh, just work on that. And then, again, using the coffee time, I'm just going to come in and put the little uh, antenna on. And I'm sorry if you can hear a bit of uh, banging going on. Uh, we've got the workmen outside, sorry. And once I'm happy with that, I'm using my Mystical Mylar, which you can see there. My absolute favourite glitter from Nail Sugar. And I'll leave a, dis a, a discount code in the description for you. So I don't want to overload the nail because I still want you to be able to see these lovely colours. So I'm just doing a little bit of a fade down the bottom there. And then just a little bit up in that near corner. And that, that, that's all we need. And this is over a base coat, actually. And I also use the base coat, you know, just to blend in those little lines, um, you know, going around the butterfly. So once I'm happy, I'm going over with another base coat, layer of base coat. <laughs> Sorry, I got my words a bit jumbled up then. That's the layer of top coat, and we'll pop that into Cure. So now on to the next design. So again, we're going in with no angel for the next two nails. Um, I've done the first coat there. We'll give it a cure and then we'll go in for the second coat. And once that's cured, I'm going to go in with the uh, Madame Glam Velvet Matte. And I'm using this because we're going to do a reverse smile line. And I just find then if, you know, you're not under any pressure, if you make any little mistakes, you can easily wipe it away. Yeah, it, ju it just saves ruining the whole nail. So I'm just popping a little bit of that onto my little palette. I'm going to use the liner brush again. And to start with, I'm just going to put a little dot in the centre. So that'll just be my little guide. And then I'll just roughly, you know, outline it and then you know, we can neaten it up to, uh, the, you know, the shape that we want, which you'll see in a moment, like as if by magic. There you go. <laughs> so I've got the shape that I want, and now I'm just going to start filling it in. So I go round the, um, you know, the edges with the liner brush. But once I've done that, I'll just go in with the, um, the actual, you know, brush from the bottle. And I am going to put two coats of this on, so don't 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 worry too much about the first, because remember it is a jelly polish, but we're also going to be having some glitter, so it'll look really nice. And there it is uh, with the two coats. So 
the glitter um, it's the mystical mylar that i used on the other one uh my favorite as you all know <laughs> uh so i'm going around the edge but i just want to do a little bit of a glitter fade because i don't want to lose you know that lovely rich color of the tip so i'm just going to continue just very very gently just you know little bits of it uh fading off there and now i'll just put some base coat on top of that and uh, help you know help seal it in and i'm going to be using some more decals and i've used exactly the same method pop them on my jelly stamper just paint the um the white on the background and then i'm just going to apply them ju just on an angle coming off the tip there so i went over this with the top coat and i've added a few dots but um I just felt it needed a little bit more of an outline, you know, like the butterflies. So I do actually go back over that. You'll see at the end, I've just slight, slightly outlined the flowers. And then I'm going to do the other nail exactly the same. They're, they're the little decals that I used for that. Now, the top coat Madame Glam sent me, it's not a no wipe. So there it is. It's the soak off one. It's still a lovely top coat, but... You must remember to uh, wipe off the sticky residue so i'm just showing you now uh just again just very very slightly i think it just makes them uh, you know stand out a little bit more and to finish them i'm just going to go in the cuticle area again with the fine long liner brush and um yeah just do a nice little cuff there on the cuticle just brings the nail together so that's the set complete. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks again to Madam Glam for this little collaboration. I've really enjoyed it. I love their products anyway, so I'm really happy to do this. And um, there's the discount code there on the screen for you. So yeah, head over to their website and um, spoil yourself. Yeah, it's a really good discount. So um, I'd love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, all those things. And you all take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.